The sprint too. That's cool. God. There's fishing, cooking, gardening, mining, furniture making, foraging, bug catching, and hunting. That's cool. And also I'm assuming the level, that's pretty sick. Area. I like that, that's really cool. Okay, now I got a tent. Oh god, that is huge. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that big. Okay. Oh, that's so cool, dude. I want to put it like right. Ah, oh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> it looks really cool. Oh my god. That's awesome. Open pre. Wait. Ah, uh, here's the paid items. Okay. So it's all cosmetic. Okay. See, this I don't really mind in games because it's not pay to win. You're just paying to, like, look really cool. As long as it's, like, cosmetic, which these look cosmetic. So, I, I think that's okay with games. I don't mind that. As long as it's not, like, you know, getting, like, 50% increased XP or getting all this free shit to build your base easier. That's that's really just cheating in my opinion. Uh, well, welcome you guys to a game that I didn't even know was even out until today. I think it actually just came out not long ago. It's called Polia. I think is how you say it. Polia? Polia? You just type it into Google search and it'll pop up. You just make an account and play it. It's in open beta right now so anyone can play it. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can, uh, you know, get a link. Not get a link. Get, get the link to go to the website to make an account to play it. Jesus, I am so freaking tired. But yeah, this is my first time playing the game. First time logging in. Let's uh, see what this game's actually about. Because from what I've seen, it's like a open world kind of survival slash co-op kind of game. I have no idea. Oh, options. Another. So there's no voice acting. Yeah. Yeah, Polya. It's a really weird name. <laughs> I honestly really don't want to like read this. Like, I just want to like play the game. Oh, you've oh wow! Look how pretty this is. I I honestly like I really really love games like these that have this like I don't know what you want to call it, like cartoony fantasy art texture, like Fable used to have back in the day. Like I think Fable is what started the freaking genre of these cartoony like fantasy type textures what is this look around blah blah yeah but yeah like it's just it's crazy looking first of all settings what are we on probably don't need that on high uh, epic because it's just no point 
DirectX 12, that's a little fucking insane. And there's not even a save option, it automatically saves your settings, that's really cool. I mean, let's be honest, the graphics aren't, like, ridiculous. Because this is 1440p and it's not really crisp, but it still looks really, really, really good. If the game stutters, it's not my computer. It's because I'm actually rendering a video, so it's taking up a little bit of my computer. So there might be a few hiccups here and there, but hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> I love the little paper uh, uh, text. Okay. Oh, wow. wow. Well, this is an interesting UI. I like it. What's this? Founder reward. Claim. Sick. Oh, did I say a windmill? Oh, 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 computer. Dude, it's like Zelda. That's really pretty. Look how beautiful that is. I love this art texture, man. God, I love this art style, dude. Oh, we need more games like this, but like not multiplayer, like PvP stuff. Like we need like RPG, like kind of games, like Fable. We need stuff like this. That's what I'm really hoping this game actually is. It's kind of like that, but God, I'm getting so much stutters for some reason. I turned off my re my rendering too. been a beautiful day so far. This game might require a pretty beefy computer if you need help, on Ultra. Sprint too. That's cool. God. This is really, really pretty. Man. Music is pretty nice too. I really do apologize for the stuttering, you guys. It's either my computer or my rendering software in the background is lagging, but I'm not rendering a video. I turned it off. So I would assume it's the com my, it's my computer. But we are on ultra everything besides shadows. It's on high. Which is kind of a bad thing. I honestly... Okay, games like these shouldn't require... Oh, well, there was a player. Games like these shouldn't require that ridiculous of a computer to play. So I hope it gets optimization in the future, because this is actually quite bad. <laughs> I mean, if a game like this runs worse than Cyberpunk, then you know the game needs optimization. Because these cartoony fantasy games should not run like that. It's horrible. I do hope they add voice acting though. That would be pretty nice, but if not, it's not 
It's not too big of a deal. I'm not a camping type. Nothing like sleeping under the stars. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. I'm sure you'll love it. A tent going to need to collect some materials. Oh, I could build a tent, dude? For you checking the plots of the road up the hill, nothing soon. Okay. Makeshift axe. Take care. So it's a multiplayer game that I'm assuming is survival. Um I don't really know. Quite a few players on. Because from what I got, it's an online open world survival slash co op kind of game. I didn't see any PvP, which is a good thing because there's too much stupid PvP games in this genre. Like, it's honestly annoying. All these. All these damn kids want to play fucking PUBG and like Fortnite. Stupid games. Oh, well, wow, that was a weird loading screen. What's going on? That was a really weird transition. Why would you load in and then go into a cutscene? Just load straight into the cutscene. Don't just, like, cut it like that. It's awkward. What in the hell? Is this supposed to be where my house is? This is cool. Like, I'm actually really impressed with, like, the art design they did. I mean... Maybe they'll do this in the future, but, like... It, maybe they could, like, obviously optimize the game better. But maybe they can make it a bit more... Make the colors pop a bit more. Make it more colorful. This is quite nice, though, honestly. Like, it's a... It's definitely a nice game to look at. For sure. Yeah. Sent me for a pickaxe. Okay. Obviously, I need the right tool for the right job. Grilled mushrooms. Okay. You still here, huh? Oh, uh, so that's the tree. Okay, that's pretty cool. Easy tools. That's cool. Mushrooms. Why is it glowing? Does that just mean I can, like, hack it, I guess? <laughs> it's got a pretty cool animation. What's this? Oh, there's the axe, okay. It's got really nice sound effects. Action bar. Yep, 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 yep. We all know about this. What the fuck just happened to my bar? Jesus, you like filled my bar. <laughs> what is all this? Oh my god, there's accomplishments in the game? For those of you who don't know what this means, these are pretty much in-game achievements, not like actual achievements. They're just in-game like... Uh... How do you want to say it? Like on Steam, you have like achievements, but this is like an in-game achievement reward system, like a goal system, I guess you could say. It's like a it's like a goal thing. Like you just you work towards your goal and you get rewarded. Games like these that have this kind of stuff is really really cool. Cause me personally, it kind of encourages me to play the game more because it's like oh, cut down a hundred trees to get a pet or. You know, do like 50 quests to get like this chess piece or something. It's just like in-game 
goals for players to do and I really really like that system it's a really really cool system that games need to do more because it makes it where you don't have to pay to play the game and what I'm talking about is pay to win you just play the game enjoy it and get rewarded for playing or doing specific things in the game it's really really cool I love these type of systems and not a lot of games have these see like look at this advanced cooking you do something, you level up, you get this, I'm assuming. I'm assuming these are the rewards if you get to that point. It's just, it's a really cool system, honestly, in my opinion, having games. I love them. Uh, return to him. What is it? Found weird things. I'll show what it is. Well, you found it, so keep. Okay, so your plotter up. I got a plot in the back of each other's face. Uh, getting a roof over your head. Oh shit! Accepted a quest. Okay. Okay. Oh, dude. Building system. How do you? What is this? What's going on? Oh. Oh, oh, hello. Well, this is interesting. Oh, that's cool. You can, like, rotate this in, like, so many different angles. Ah, oh, look at that. That's so cool. What is this? The fuck is this? A windmill decor. Okay. Grilled mushrooms. Okay. Well, I got, I got a bench. How do you use it? Okay. Makeshift tent. Okay, so we need rope. Request up to four different items from fellow Pallians. Wow, so there's like a trade system in the game? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we need wood. That's not what I meant. <laughs> So there's like an online trade system where you could just help out other players. That's kind of cool. Like there's no auction house, but there's like a player's online trade system. Like I, I really hope this game succeeds. I just, I don't want PvP. I just want to fucking play games and have fun, even if it's with other people. Like I'm just so tired of the fucking PvP bullshit. So hopefully this game kind of keeps it with the MMO co-op kind of RPG like survival game aspect cool doing the backswing you know <laughs> it's got the day and night at the top right of the screen too and it says it's 11 so I'm assuming day and night lasts quite a while It also said get rope. Oh, look at that. I just now noticed this. There's skills. There's fishing, cooking, gardening, mining, furniture making, foraging, bug catching, and hunting. That's cool. And also I'm assuming the level, that's pretty sick. Accessories, romance, romance, attachment for fishing, a bobber, and glider. Dude. This game seems like it's got some really cool stuff in it. At the top right it says level 1 wood. I'm assuming the higher you go the better tools and maybe the more resources you can gather with one tree. It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so gra craft a chest. Okay. <laughs> That's so cool looking. Oh my god. I like that animation. Just pop it right there. Oh, look at that, dude. Five renown. What the hell's renown? Is that like a... Wait, what is this? Oh, holy shit. Is this my building area? 
The writs not available. Purchase from the city hall. Oh, so cool. Ancient thing. Did that go in the chest, I'm assuming? Okay, so now we need a tent. We just need a little bit more wood. So far, I'm actually kind of enjoying the cutting, the mining, the crafting. It's definitely kind of cool. Okay, so you get sprigs along with the actual wood. There we go, plant fibers, okay. This is kind of cool that the player has their own, like, personal, like, player house area. I like that, that's really cool. Okay, now I got a tent. Holy god, that is huge. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that big. Fucking hell. Okay. We're gonna have to make some space. That shit's huge. Oh wow, so you get XP only when you pick up the wood, not chop it down. Okay, this should be enough space, I would assume. Okay. Oh, that's so cool, dude. I want to put it, like, right... Oh, look at that, that's so cool. <laughs> it looks really cool. Oh my god. That's awesome. Okay, talk to him. You even got a mailbox, dude? Oh, that's cool. Wait, who are you? You haven't left yet? Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, I love getting mail. Okay, why not? One butter. It's your first mail deliver ever. Okay, I got a mail delivery. <laughs> uh, read, I think. I got a fishing pole, dude. Yeah. I got a bow and a recipe to make arrows. Sick. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. Hunting. Hold to shoot. Creatures will flee if you miss. You can have multiple different arrows too. Okay, so. Oh, hello. Craft. That's cool. Man, I'm hungry. I found this strange artifact. Whoa. Huh? Something like this before. Yeah. Okay. Stop by giving some tips and use them. Okay. I should talk to my dad, Badru. Standard smoke bombs. I got a recipe for smoke bombs. What the fuck? Down. Okay. Leave your housing plot. Dude, I have a lot of stuff. So I got 20 arrows. We don't really need these, and I don't think we need those. I don't know. Focus points. 
Okay, I guess health is focus. I mean, I guess we could put stuff like that in there. Hi, there we go. Okay, so you have 400 capacity. I'll take these. Probably don't need that. I don't know. What is this? Dazing insects. Hold to aim. Arc shot and practice. Wait, what? When insect is hit by a smoke bomb, it will attempt to break away. Are we playing fucking Pokemon here, dude? Aw, oh, look at that. That's so cool. Rare bugs are higher chance to escape. Overwhelm them with additional catch attempts and you might keep trying to flee. Wow, so smoke bombs are for bugs. Okay. Increase your skill to unlock new types of smoke bombs and more powerful bells to increase your chance to daze on an insect. Dude. Fish and pull. Hold. And release. Okay, there, there's a lot to this game, dude. Look at that bow. Yeah, buddy. Ugh. Ooh, welcome to Palia. Welcome from the dev team. All oh, sick. A new startup studio. We're so excited. Oh, a new startup studio. Wow. If this is their first game, dude, they did a really good job. It's really pretty. Definitely not a bad start. Just don't make it a PvP game. Start Singularity 6 in order to create new worlds that the pen players live, and we hope it lives up to you. Okay, if you like or recruit want to support Polya further, the biggest thing you can do is possibly simply tell a friend or family about Polya. Nice. Yeah, as long as they don't turn this game into a PvP or a pay to win, dude, this could be a really, really good game. Like, it really could. Four hundred meters away, man. That's so far away. So pretty. Dude, how? Holy God. I would assume this is not the map. This is just where you start. I would assume it's bigger than this. Uh. Okay, so the town is actually up here. What the fuck? Well, now my game's running better. <laughs> the editing software finally completely turned off. It is a bit weird that there's no actual, like, map. Like, I don't know where I'm going. The tailor is right up here. It is kind of weird the game doesn't have a map. Hello. Open pre- Wait. Ah, uh, here's the paid items, okay. So it's all cosmetic. Okay. See, this I don't really mind in games because it's not pay to win. You're just paying to like look really cool. As long as it's like cosmetic, which these look cosmetic. So I, I think that's okay with games. I don't mind that as long as it's not like, you know, getting like 50% increased XP or 
getting all this free shit to build your base easier. That's that's really just cheating in my opinion. I wonder how much it would actually be though. I mean, I would assume 5,000 is probably like 5 bucks, maybe 10. Okay, so that's the store. Okay. Like I said, as long as the game is not pay to win and it's cosmetic stuff like that, I'm okay with it. What's in here? I see a player in here. What, what, what is this? Open store. <laughs> no one runs these buildings, dude? Worms for fishing. Cotton seed. Oh yeah, your farm. You can grow your farms. This money kind of scares me, though. 30 coins. It caps at 300. Either these are really cheap, or gold is hard to get in the game. And when I mean hard to get, I mean like one quest is like 25 silver. You know what I mean? Like 50 silver, maybe a gold. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to end the video here, you guys. If you do want to see more of this game, just let me know. Because uh, I'm definitely willing to you know, give it a go and actually, like, play a bit more. I might even play a bit more off, you know, off the YouTube video, because it's, it's actually kind of a cool game. I'm really, uh, really intrigued with this game. Like, I definitely kind of want to see what it's about, so see y'all later.